bigger has always seemed to be better when it comes to watching television. After all, cable and satellite companies offer hundreds of channels, on-demand options, and high-tech tools like digital video recorders and special disc players. You know, they all claim to offer you crystal clear, high-definition video. But thanks to a big shift in the way television is sent from the TV towers to your house, you can go small and in many cases get the very best quality picture and programming using some low-tech tools you might even have in your house right now. We're talking about over-the-air high-definition television, also known as OTA. You can buy pre-made antennas, or if you have an old set of rabbit ears, you can use those. But if you don't, it's actually pretty easy to make your own antenna right at home. Here are the supplies you'll need. First, an F-type transformer. Next five to 10 feet of stereo speaker cable, and that's something most people have just lying around the house. A few thumbtacks or some tape to tack the wire to the wall. A Phillips screwdriver, a knife or a wire stripper, and if you're going to use a knife, make sure that you have a cutting board. So it's kind of like a recipe so far, right? Well, you have the supplies, and now it's time to actually make your antenna. Take a six foot section of the wire with the two leads still stuck together, leave one end intact. And on the other end, go ahead and peel the wires apart. You want to keep the last 6 to 10 inches connected on one end. On that connected side, now you're going to peel the wires apart for about an inch and then strip the insulation off of that one inch section. The exact measurements, they don't really matter. You don't need to be exactly one inch, but just use that to guide about how much you need to take off. Now that the insulation is gone from the end of the cable, you're going to see some wires. Twist them together and then screw them under the two screws on the F transformer. You're halfway there. What you have now is actually a VHF antenna. And that's what's going to bring channels 2 to 13 to your TV. Ready to move on? Take about 18 inches of a new piece of that speaker wire. Peel it apart because in this case you're actually only going to need one lead. Strip about an inch of insulation off each end of that one lead. Twist the wires and then screw them into the transformer with the earlier set of wires. This is your UHF antenna. It's going to bring you channels 14 and up. And now you've created the tool that will actually pull in the programs that you want to watch. It's time to install all that hard work. Take the transformer and connect it to the antenna in coaxial input on the back of your TV. Or if you have an older set, a DTV converter box. Mount the antenna wires to the wall. The VHF, or that first antenna you built, needs to be in a V shape if possible. If you can't make that work, a capital T shape might do the trick. The UHF, that's the second antenna you built, needs to be in a circular loop. Now it's all set up and ready to go. But just a quick note, if you don't like the way these wires look, you can use those thumbtacks we talked about to stick the antenna to the wall and hide them behind some shelves. Or you can paint the wires to match the wall color. Okay, are you ready to watch TV? Go ahead and turn on your set and find the channel lineup or the setup section in your TV's menu. Then scan for channels. It might take a few minutes, so be patient. Once that scan is done, you should see your channels come in crystal clear and cable free. Now, we do have a few notes, especially for troubleshooting. DTV signals either come in or they don't. There won't be any fuzzy ghosting images like back in the analog days. So go ahead and experiment with where you mount the wires. If you live relatively close to where your local TV stations have their transmitter sites, you should get good reception using this homemade antenna. But there are a few things that can cause problems. If you're far away, live in the middle of a crowded apartment complex, maybe at the bottom of a valley, etc., you might not be able to use this solution. Instead, you can mount a large aerial antenna on your roof. And finally, you do need to have what's called an ATSC tuner. That picks up the digital TV signals, or you can have a converter box. Older NTSC televisions can't get digital signals, and the only analog signals still available these days are from low-power broadcasters, like local religious stations. All of these signals are available for free, thanks to major changes in the rules for television broadcast. So once you're set up to receive these over-the-air, high-definition programs, you're getting the best picture possible. And in many cases, you'll actually get extra subcarrier local channels.